Introduction Welcome, medical students, to today's lecture on molecular biology. In this session, we will delve into the fascinating realm of DNA replication. Understanding the intricate mechanisms behind DNA replication is crucial for comprehending various aspects of molecular biology and genetics. From the basics of nucleotides and base pairing to the complex machinery involved in DNA replication, we will cover it all. So, let's dive right in. In the process of DNA replication, nucleotides, composed of a sugar molecule, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base, are involved. A to 9 pairs with thymine through two hydrogen bonds, while cytosine pairs with guanine through three hydrogen bonds. This pairing is essential for accurate replication and stability of DNA. The DNA double helix is a structure made up of two strands running in opposite directions. The bases on each strand face inward, forming hydrogen bonds that maintain the helical structure. This helical nature allows for the unwinding and separation of the strands during replication, which is facilitated by enzymes and proteins. In the video on DNA structure and replication, we discuss the process of DNA replication. Specifically, we focus on elongation, where DNA polymerase adds new nucleotides to the template strand, and termination, where the replicated DNA molecules separate. This process is tightly regulated to ensure accurate transmission of genetic information. 4. DNA polymerases and replication machinery DNA polymerases are enzymes that build DNA strands by connecting nucleotides. Different DNA polymerases have specific roles in DNA replication. DNA polymerase 3 synthesizes the leading strand continuously, while DNA polymerase I replaces RNA primers and fills gaps in the lagging strand. 5. Leading and lagging strand synthesis The leading strand is replicated continuously in the same direction as the replication fork movement. However, the lagging strand is synthesized in the opposite direction, requiring a unique mechanism. DNA replication requires RNA primers to initiate DNA synthesis. On the lagging strand, DNA primus synthesizes short RNA primers, providing a starting point for DNA polymerase 3 to begin synthesizing Okazaki fragments. These fragments are later joined by DNA ligase. 6. DNA helicase and toposomerases to unwind the DNA double helix and facilitate replication, a protein called DNA helicase is vital. This enzyme breaks the hydrogen bonds between the base pairs, separating the DNA strands ahead of the replication fork. As DNA unwinding occurs, tension builds up ahead of the replication fork, leading to the formation of supercoiled DNA structures. Toposomerases release this tension by inducing reversible breaks in the DNA strands, allowing them to unwind and preventing excessive coiling. 7. DNA primus and primer synthesis DNA primus plays a crucial role in DNA replication by synthesizing short RNA primers. These primers provide a starting point for DNA polymerases to commence DNA synthesis. DNA primus initiates primer synthesis by adding RNA nucleotides through complementary base pairing. The RNA primers are later replaced with DNA nucleotides by DNA polymerase I, ensuring the continuity of the new DNA strand. 8. DNA proofreading and repair Despite the precision involved in DNA replication, errors can occur. To maintain genomic integrity, DNA polymerases possess proofreading capabilities. These enzymes have exonuclease activity, allowing them to detect and remove incorrect nucleotides that have been incorporated into the growing DNA chain. Additionally, various DNA repair mechanisms exist to rectify any DNA damage that may have occurred during replication. These repair mechanisms are crucial for preserving genetic stability and preventing the accumulation of mutations. The Origin Recognition Complex ORC, plays a crucial role in DNA replication. It recognizes and binds to specific sites in the genome called origins of replication, initiating the assembly of the replication machinery. Replication licensing ensures that each origin is activated only once per cell cycle, ensuring accurate genome duplication. 10. Telomeres, telomerase, and replication termination telomeres are specialized DNA structures located at the ends of linear chromosomes. They protect the coding regions of DNA from degradation and prevent the loss of essential genetic information during replication. During replication, the telomeres experience gradual shortening, which is compensated by an enzyme called telomerase. Telomerase adds repetitive DNA sequences onto the telomeres, counteracting the natural attrition during replication. However, aberrant telomere maintenance can contribute to oncogenesis and aging processes. In the video on DNA structure and replication, we discuss replication timing and cell cycle regulation. Replication origins are activated at specific times to maintain genome integrity, and cell cycle checkpoints ensure accurate replication before cell division. 12. 
Viral DNA replication Viral DNA replication differs from cellular DNA replication in many aspects. Viruses exploit the host's cellular machinery to replicate their DNA, often employing unique enzymes and mechanisms. Understanding viral DNA replication is vital for developing antiviral treatments and combating viral infections effectively. Different viral families adopt various strategies to replicate their genetic material, which we will explore in more depth. Summarizing the importance of DNA replication in 33 words for medical students, DNA replication is a precise process involving enzymes to duplicate DNA. This knowledge is vital for genetics, medicine, and biotechnology.